Hello, my name is Damien Dibbon and I am the author of the History Keeper series of novels. It's all about a boy, uh, Jake Jones, who uh, finds out his parents are lost in history because they travel to history by ship. So it's particularly fitting I'm here in the hull uh, of the great Cutty Sark, uh, which is an enormous clipper that used to cross the Atlantic, uh, um, travel the world really, taking tea back and forth. One of the other reasons I'm here is Kids in Museum Takeover Day. It is what it sounds like, the kids take over the actual museum. Um, so they've taken over today with the running of this great museum. We've been organising uh, a toddler takeover for children over the age of three. Yeah, we explained to everybody what we have. So here we have, we gave give out little leaflets and that and tell them where they all are. Okay. So this is what the little flyers that we give out. Um, and what would you normally do, be doing on a Friday at school? What? We'll be doing PE right now. What do you think has been the best thing about today? It helped me with my communication because I don't know actually how to talk to people that much, so yeah. And um, what have you learned about the Cutty Sark that you didn't know before? Uh, I didn't even know they held this place here. And what's been the best thing for you today? Uh, giving the mayor of Greenwich the tour around the Cutty Sark. He said it was much different than when he went about 30 years ago. And what's your favourite thing about kids in museums takeover day? Um, it's probably going around seeing what's happening. The showing, the crafting and art activities. What about you? What's been your favourite thing about kids in museums takeover day? Um, I really like seeing all the toddlers being happy and I really like handing out all the leaflets. We give it to kids in The best thing about Kids in Museums Takeover Day uh, is that it gets kids involved, it gets them to, to create the exhibitions, to run the exhibitions, to run the museums, to do all the behind the scenes stuff, all the front of house stuff and it's incredibly exciting for them. Uh, and it's a brilliant opportunity for the museum. The worst thing about it is that it only goes on for one day. So I would give it a rating of 10 points.